This is the fifth round out of seven of the 2016 UIM F2 World Championship and it couldn't become more dramatic as it was at the Lithuanian Grand Prix in Zarazai. But first things first, the main competitors for this year's title, Eric Idin and Pierre Landin, qualified first and second. So this race was about to be the next step for either Landin or Idin to get their hands on the 2016 trophy. The start of the Grand Prix and 17 boats launched into the 45 lap race. But even at the first turn, big disaster for the championship leader Pierre Landin. His boat rolled over and the race came to an end for the world champion. The engine didn't start from, from the beginning, so I was a little bit beh behind uh, both Eric and then um, uh, Stefan did a really good start. And I was between them and I thought uh, my chance was to take Eric on the inside. Uh, so I took a chance there and, and uh, ah, I lost. The red flag was shown and the remaining boats lined up again at the starting pontoon for the restart. And again it was Eric Edin and Stefan Hagen with the best start and now they were fighting for the leading position. Eric Edin in front but Hagen trying to keep the gap small. But Edin could stay in front and worked on a safe lead. Meanwhile, Matthew Palfreman was trying to make ground. Starting from 12th spot, the British pilot was already 8th after a couple of laps challenging new star pilot Roman Vandyshev for 7th position. And Palfreman tried what he could to pass the Russian boat, but it seemed that he couldn't find a way through, even though Palfreman went a very high risk. Also, third in qualifying, Tobias Montecas could close up to Pufferman, making this a three-boat fight now. But all of a sudden, Stefan Hagen, second in the race, was in trouble. His boat was slowing down and Uwe Slakteris and Owen Jelf got past the German. And even more in trouble was Palferman. He rolled over at turn three, so his race was over as well. To be honest with you, I was just chasing him hard. Um, missed a few opportunities, like going down his inside, going down his outside. Um, thought there was an opportunity. I got down his inside as he turned. There wasn't a lot of space, so I had to get out of it at the last minute and go through his wash, but the boat just took off through his wash and I landed on the right-hand side and it just barrel rolled twice. Yellow flags were shown and with Landin and Palfreman, number two and three in the championship out of the race, Eric Idin was looking forward to a race win and a comfortable lead in the championship. The restart and Idin could stay in front of Slakteris and Jalf. And the next one was out of the race. Stefan Hagen retired with oil problems. After racing on second position from the start, it is another unsatisfying result for the German driver who couldn't finish any Grand Prix this year so far. Another yellow flag came out when the boys in turn three drifted away after a contact with one of the boats. So again, the chance for Slakteris, Jelf and Rup Temper to challenge Idin for the lead. But the Swedish pilot could stay in front once again when the green flag was shown and build up a safe lead in the following laps. So everything looked like an easy win for Eric Edin when only a few laps before the end of the race Uwe Slakteris could close up on Edin. And it became even more dramatic when in the final lap Edin slowed down and got passed by Uwe Slakteris. So the new leader of the Lithuanian Grand Prix was Uwe Slakteris with just one lap to go. <laughs> Dean dropped down to fifth, struggling with engine problems.
Well, we don't know what happened yet. I know nothing about what what made the engine stop several times during the last the last four laps. Um, yeah, I had this race. I had it so badly. I was really, really the fastest one. What a result of the Grand Prix. Slachter is winning the race. His first win in over three years. The luck was on my side, that's for sure. Uh, especially when I was looking that Edin was going fast in the beginning and then he was seems like slowing down or the fuel or something. And I was chasing him and he was closing me and I was all time in the rooster. But I found a spot and then at the final lap, in the final straight, I got past him. So I was really happy because uh, in the first uh, start, I got to hit uh, with the London because London turned over and I, uh, I didn't see him. And when I saw him, it was too late and I hit my boat. And in every left corner, if I do a hard turn, the water was splashing on my feet. So I was afraid that the boat will sink in any of the corners. But finally, thanks God, everything went good. Second became Austrian Rupp Temper, who made a big step in the championship, moving up to third in the overall standings. It was uh, very fast, I think so. But, uh, and uh, I think uh, five laps I can catch Kubis. But I'm happy uh, for this weekend. And uh, we will see in Macron, then a new situation. Then we can see what we can do in the qualifying. This is very important for the race. After round five, Pierre Landin and Eric Edin are now equal on points in the championship. So the next two races are going to be even more exciting because nothing is decided yet. Uh, I want to win this championship because, because I win. I don't want to win this championship because other people fail. So for me, I'm still sad and I deserve those 20 points. All set to zero for the next race in Macau for the French Grand Prix. Don't miss that one and follow F2 on Facebook, YouTube and f2worldchamp.com.